it's the second day, and we're sending live to you from in between halls seven and nine. We have a full day packed with interesting talks and innovations, and we're going to start off with Stolpli. Here with me is Andrea Tanzini. He's local head of pharma and medical at Stolpli, Italy. And he's going to talk to us about harnessing robotics in contamination controlled equipment and do a presentation, our first presentation in the program. So we're all very excited. Andrea, the stage is yours. Thank you very much. So the presentation of today basically is all about uh, innovation uh, in order to push the bar higher for robotics in uh, aseptic uh, equipment. So we'll go through a little bit of introduction in uh, robotics in pharma production. We will uh, talk about uh, why our current offering needs to be, uh, let's say, furtherly upgraded because of the regulations. We will talk about uh, the results of the uh, innovation process, process and then uh, also about the validation and documentation package that is the main part that allows us to innovate and push the innovation forward. And in the end, of course, we will have a quick wrap up with a brief video. So, robotics in pharma production. As you can see in the slide, uh, all the environment and sensitive environments in the pharma production can basically divided in uh, four level. The less uh, challenging one is the final packaging with an ISO 8 class. Uh, and uh, then there is the level three inspection and secondary packaging uh, with ISO 7. And then uh, level two and level one uh, that are basically isolators, rubs, uh, clean room, gray day, and so on. So where uh, contamination uh, needs to be controlled as much as possible in order to reduce the risk of contamination. Uh, so from uh, all over uh, the part of the pharma production, uh, we can see that uh, robots are already used uh, in a massive way from uh, laboratory automation to API research and production liquid and solid production and so on, going of course through auxiliary process and biotherapies. So even if robotics is already used and has been already used by OEMs and end users since uh, a lot of years, uh, there is uh, the need of upgrade, uh, of upgrade uh, the performances, uh, the documentation and so on. And uh, why is that? Basically because uh, the regulation are uh, changing uh, and it has just been introduced the new Annex 1 for uh, the GMP and uh, also FDA is uh, uh, looking how to uh, improve production also through the use of robotics. And this means that there are more opportunities for automation but also that there is the need to align the uh, automation processes uh, and automation solutions that are all today on the market. So, as Stoibli has, uh, let's say, a pretty uh, representative uh, installed, uh, installed base in uh, isolator and uh, grade, grade A environment, uh, we have uh, more than uh, 1,500 units all over the world uh, working in isolators and uh, we decided we need to step forward in order to push the innovation with uh, the help, let's say, of the regulators and so on. And um, this brought us to a partnership with SCAN when, uh, where we tested our solution, our current range of robots. Uh, we found a point, point of interest and a point to be improved in order to uh, better answer to more uh, intensive uh, cycle of cleaning, uh, more uh, intensive biodecontaminating cycle and so on. And this uh, brought us from the Stericlin that is uh, today used and uh, you can see also all over the exhibition in a lot of machine uh, of uh, OEMs from all over the world uh, to the Stericlin Plus. So what is the Stericlin Plus? The Stericlin Plus is, uh, we can define it as uh, an upgrade of the Stericlin version uh, of our robots uh, and uh, is uh, made for is uh, isolator use and for grade A environment, if FDA uh, is made of FDA compliant material, as you can see, uh, it has a very improved uh, hygienic design, higher cleaning performances, and is 
most of all validated with a documentation and validation package that is delivered with the robot. As you can see, here there is the list of the most important innovation we brought. So with the hygienic design, we are going to uh, go into more details in the following slides. Basically, it covers all the mechanical parts of the robots improved in order to resist better at a grade A performances. Uh, there is an improved tightness. The hygienic wrist uh, is, uh, also, uh, has also been coated with a FDA approved coating. Um, there is a smart design, but we will see better in the, in, in, into details uh, in a few minutes. And uh, most importantly, it brings also a cultural change, we can say, because it's delivered with a complete validation and documentation package made in collaboration with SCAN, uh, and it reports uh, all uh, the answers the OEMs and the end users might need to help, for example, with the contamination control strategy and uh, to validate and qualify in a smoother way their equipment. So, as you can see, going into details, uh, we have a new FDA-approved coating uh, for all the robots, uh, uh, body, all the arms, uh, and uh, most importantly, also uh, at the wrist of, robot, uh, of the robots. Uh, this uh, particular uh, surface uh, uh, treatment uh, is uh, made in order to withstand intensive uh, cycle of cleaning uh, and the contamination. So uh, if you need an application in uh, isolator with uh, highly toxic uh, drugs and you want to avoid cross-contamination, for sure this is the choice uh, to go with in order to have uh, an intensive cleaning without uh, any kind of concern. All the covers of the robots uh, ha has been, uh, have, have been redesigned. Uh, we completely removed the, the screws. Now the, there is an innovative capping system with the stainless steel in order to increase the cleanability. All the gasket of the robots are now FDA compliant uh, uh, in order to, uh, and uh, they allow to avoid uh, uh, point of concern with the niche uh, and so on uh, in order to have a, a smoother cleaning process. The veering uh, of the dynamic ceiling of the robot uh, assess, uh, allow us to have uh, more cleanability, more smooth cleanability, as we said. And uh, all these innovation, all these uh, modifications uh, uh, was the results of a continual test, uh, design, uh, test, uh, design, uh, and uh, measure the results. Uh, and this was made uh, thank you, uh, thanks to a lot of tests that uh, now are used to bring value as the validation package. So the process uh, of innovating was through a lot of analysis, and now the analysis it itself uh, is used to provide value to the end user and to the end customers. Uh, what is a validation package? We will see into details in the next slides. It's a series of tests, a series of answers we need to use uh, uh, in order to deliver value to the solution we, uh, we deliver. It helps, of course, the machine builder to, qu to qualify the machine, uh, the whole machine, uh, in uh, less time than before. Uh, helps, of course, in the creation of the contamination control strategy up to the standards of the new Annex 1. And, of course, also increase uh, the acceptance by the end users because they start uh, to see the robot not as a black box, but is a tool they understand uh, and they are familiar with. And for end users, it increases, of course, the transparency of the material used in the, in the robotic solution. Uh, it, it gives uh, tangible proof that is compatible with, uh, for example, the grade A environments or grade, a, grade B environments performance is requested. And, uh, uh, is especially designed for uh, isolator because uh, all uh, the, let's say, uh, question that can uh, comes up uh, reg regarding contamination control strategy, cleaning, uh, process validation, and so on, uh, can find uh, an answer into the documentation and validation package. So, 
how is composed the validation and documentation package. We have a series of tests that help to in characterizing the robots into details. We have the D-value uh, evaluation for all the material that are composing uh, the, the robots, so the casting, uh, the covers, uh, the screws, uh, the, the gaskets, and so on. We have uh, the chemical resistant test, of course, as uh, a matrix that allow you to see the compatibility of all materials that compose the robot with respect to the most used and most important uh, decontamination agents and uh, cleaning agents. We have the surface roughness uh, of all materials, again, in order to understand how all the robots is uh, built accordingly to uh, increase uh, as much as we can uh, the cleanability of the robot, the reuse, reducing the surface roughness. Uh, we have the microbiological resistant test for, again, all material of the robots because we need to be sure not only that we can clean and decontaminate the robot uh, smoothly, but uh, that also if a bacteria comes into contact with the robot, it doesn't have uh, the nutrients to grow. And uh, so we have been able also to Mm, to, to assess all uh, these kind of performances. A complete uh, still uh, of all materials uh, uh, characterization of the H2O2 cycle in order to characterize the, the, the contamination cycle and the clean all time accordingly. And then uh, last but not least, uh, if all the previous uh, test was uh, in, uh, let's say, performed uh, on uh, a disassembled robot, uh, there is also the cleanability, cleanability test with the riboflavin that is performed on the robot itself, on the whole robot, because uh, it uh, really depends on the morphology of uh, the robotic arm you are uh, installing and testing, and this helps in uh, uh, understand the point of interest when, where the uh, cleaning needs to be done uh, more uh, intensively and uh, the point where uh, the cleaning, for example, on the robot arm itself uh, can be done uh, very easily because his, uh, his uh, surface roughness allows you with a simple white cleaning uh, to have uh, a um, validated, uh, uh, validated cleaning cycle. Then the Let's say the certification, the quali qualification uh, package, the validation and documentation package, as we call it, uh, uh, is composed by four parts. The first one is related to the robot itself, is a description of the robot you will be delivered uh, uh, itself. So, for example, the TX260 with all his uh, performances and uh, data sheet. Then there is a second part. Uh, that is the part related to certification and norms. So, for example, uh, if you need a UR robot or a CE marked robot, you will have all the list of certificates into the validation and documentation package. Then the third part, the product validation test, are linked uh, to what we have just seen in the, in the slide before. So, uh, all the characterization of the robot and is the tangible proof that the robot is uh, the um, perfect solution uh, in uh, a matter of contamination control uh, and uh, contamination controlled uh, environments. And uh, given these tests uh, basically are a destructive test, uh, we cannot perform the test on all robots we deliver. Uh, the tests are uh, uh, performed as a uh, uh, on, the, on a sample robotics arm in order that we can assess uh, uh, the performances. And then uh, we have in introduced a, a complete new quali quality assurance and traceability test that allow, you, uh, allow us uh, to uh, assess that uh, every robot that will leave uh, our factories will be up to the standards declared into the uh, test we have just seen. So there is a specific, specific, uh, specifically designed uh, surface roughness test uh, and uh, uh, powder, the um, uh, coating uh, of the robot will be tested uh, in a specific test that allow us to uh, have all performances uh, that uh, we, we tested uh, as, uh, as we've seen. Uh, the final part is the quality control is a bit of, is a little bit of or what I've already said uh, with uh, also 
all the tests uh, that uh, will characterize the robot itself uh, as performance, as a robot, uh, not only for cleaning, but uh, as an automatic machine. So you will have the clean room certificate uh, uh, according to the ISO standard. You will have the ISO class of the robot, of course, Stericlean Plus, given uh, is uh, made for isolator, will come uh, in an ISO 5 compliant performance. Uh, you will have uh, all the material information regarding the robot coding, uh, the flange, the joint sealing, and so on. And also uh, the characterization of the oil, uh, the, it, uh, that will be an H1, uh, so food compliant, uh, uh, food contact compliant oil, uh, and so on. So, the last part we have seen uh, related to the quality control is linked to the precision test, brake power test, uh, and all the tests that allow us to uh, assess that the robot is safe and uh, is working uh, as uh, we designed it and as you need. And uh, the good, um, we can say, part of the validation package is that uh, given that all the tests we made, we uh, specifically do for each single robot that leave the factory. It will be linked uh, to the specific serial number of the robot uh, in order uh, that uh, you, be, you will be 100% sure that the specific robot has been tested, has been uh, assessed as uh, qualitative compliant with uh, our high standard of uh, construction and production and uh, will be characterized univocally with all performances uh, you need under a controlled uh, uh, contamination controlled environment. So as key takeaways, we can say uh, the robot uh, is uh, made for isolator and is born for uh, isolator and grade A performances. It's been uh, an interesting journey uh, also thanks to our partner uh, SCAN uh, testing our solution that uh, will still be available and in a, let's say, more, uh, uh, not, uh, more demanding application will, be, will still uh, uh, be as a solution available. But for the, we can say, the Champions League of uh, isolator production and grade A environments, of course, uh, the Sterling Clean Plus will be the, the, let's say, the solution to go with. So in order to wrap up, I would like to show you uh, just uh, a video that summarizes all the introduction we made uh, with the, uh, this innovative product. And uh, if you need uh, any specific infos, uh, you can find us uh, in the hall uh, 15. And uh, if you have question, then just contact me and uh, I will be happy to, to answer. Well, Andrea, thank you so much for giving us those insights into robotics and especially the new version of the Stericlean thank Plus. You. That was uh, that was great. It gave me some very new information. <laughs> <laughs>